Well, 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 we didn't see this one coming, did we? Because this thing here is a rival to the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, the Mercedes AMG GT Black Series, and it's a Mustang. It's called the GTD. They're targeting a sub seven minute lap of the Nürburgring, and it's gonna cost you $300,000. Well, it's gonna start from $300,000. Now, let's start with the name GTD. So GTD is the class in IMSA in which you can race a GT3 spec car. That's because GT3 Mustangs will be racing next year at Le Mans. And this car takes a GT3 racer as a starting point and then really, really runs with it. Load more aero, loads more technology in the suspension, loads more power under the bonnet. And there are so many incredible details on this car that I'm gonna to need to my phone for reference because I don't wanna miss any of them out. And we're gonna start with the powertrain. Where else? So under there, we have a 5.2 litre supercharged V8. It is essentially a powered up version of the V8 you get in the Shelby Mustang GT500. There you get about 760. Here, they're guaranteeing us at least 800 horsepower, which is very nice. Crucially though, it has a dry sump. That's the key here because when you're hammering this thing around the Nürburgring, you wanna avoid oil surge. The dry sump is the real game changer here. Then you've got a transaxle gearbox. So twin clutch, eight speed gearbox at the back. That's from the GT3 race car as well. A carbon fiber drive shaft. And the point of that is to produce this perfect 50-50 weight distribution. And then we get to the suspension. It's pretty trick, so you need to keep up. Um, at the back, you don't get any boot space. That's all taken up by inboard push rod suspension, proper race car stuff. And then there's the dampers. They are adaptive spool valve dampers. So a bit like the dampers you got on the Ford GT, except this is the next generation. They're adaptive. They can adapt the damper settings. They can also adjust the ride height. So a bit like the Ford GT, you've probably seen that video where the Ford GT goes into track mode and slams itself down instantly, 40 mil. Well, this thing can do the same track, same trick even. Not the same track, Instagram's gonna love it. And then we get to the aerodynamics. Mad, way more downforce than you get with the GT3 racer. On the back, this enormous wing is hydraulically activated. It is effectively a DRS wing on a Mustang. But unlike the GT3 RS, where you do have a button where you can override it and control it manually, this thing learns your driving style. It knows when you want the DRS open and when you want it closed. And to balance all that out, because as we know, if you put a load of downforce on the back of a car, you can't have no extra on the front of the car, you'll be all in balance. So you have movable flaps under there in the front as well. And that keeps that perfect downforce balance front rear. The track, four inches wider than a standard Mustang. You'll see back here how wide these arches are. This car looks brutal and muscular when you're up close with it. And a big part of that is the tires. So the front tires on this car, this Mustang GTD, are as wide as the rear tires on the Ford GT supercar. And then the rear tires are even wider still. I mean, this thing is gonna grip for days. Well, it's gonna have to if it's gonna do a sub seven minute lap of the Nürburgring. And then we get to weight. So optional forged magnesium wheels, which are these ones, carbon ceramic brakes, full carbon body, apart from the doors and this roof rail here. And there's an optional titanium exhaust at the back. So the engine will rev out to a little bit over seven and a half thousand RPM. It's gonna sound good, don't worry about that. The interior, not quite finished. This car does have an interior, just not the final GTD one. The only clues they've given us, and this is very cool indeed, is there's gonna be 3D printed titanium paddles for the gearbox. There's also gonna be a titanium uh, plate when you come in the car. And that is recycled titanium from retired F-22 fighter jets. We like stuff like that. And of course it doesn't have any rear seats because it's basically a race car for the road. So many more details. We've only got a few minutes with this car. I hope that's given you a flavor of just how bonkers it is. I was just talking to the guys behind this project and saying, what a world we live in where this stuff gets green lit. But the boss, the boss of Ford, Jim Farley, he's a big car guy. He loves stuff like this. This is the stuff that gets him out of bed as well as selling a bazillion SUVs. So we're lucky to have it. There's a limited run of them. We don't know exactly how many they're gonna build yet. It will arrive end of 24, end of 25. Apparently they are gonna to come to Europe, 
but they're not gonna come to the UK. Boo, is all I can say. I'm just gonna have to move country. Simple as that.